Hi guys, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be trying to learn Spanish. I've always taken an interest in learning languages just because I find it really interesting to be able to understand someone uh, talk in another language other than English. I think what really motivated me to actually study Spanish was um, I watched Nathaniel Drew's uh, video where he had a conversation with his polyglot grandmother. And I was so impressed by that. She's like having all these experiences in different countries and she's like loving it. And then I'm thinking, okay, if I want to travel to like Europe or like other countries, I would be able to converse with them and really understand culture instead of just like speaking English. I think going to Korea this summer was really an eye-opening experience for me because I crammed learned like seven phrases to use as a tourist, you know, like just, oh, where's the bathroom? Um, uh, how much is it? The really basic level of Korean that you can get. Like I learned that, I memorized that, I ingrained it into my head. But honestly, I didn't really get a super authentic experience because I was just speaking English in Korea and hoping that everyone I encounter was able to speak it. Although it was a really good experience, I wish that I was able to actually understand what they were saying. Like, Because I remember one time I was buying face wash or something from this shop and I went up to the cashier and I'm just like, okay, why why don't I just uh, speak it in Korean and be the cashier and then just leave and now I'm, I'm like totally done. I don't have to like speak English. It would be so cool. And then it was Korean and then she asked me something back in Korean and I didn't know how to answer and it was so awkward because I'm like, what do I do? Do I, do I talk to her back in Korean? Like, do I just say yes or no? Or do I just like speak English? I just decided to speak English because that was the easiest way out of there. I did. I paid. I left feeling embarrassed. Yes, that's my mini story time of my embarrassment in Korea and why I want to try learning different languages before I go to that specific country. First of all, I learned French all through high school so I'm able to understand, speak, and then write in French. So I think French would help me learn Spanish. And then secondly, Spanish is one of the widely used languages around the world so I thought it would be pretty interesting. Me, the way I study or how I'm gonna study Spanish is just like repeating what the teacher says till I have it in my head as well as just like close my eyes, visualize what was on my paper and I just kind of think about it and like read it off and like kind of memorize it according to like the format of the paper. What I'm doing to learn Spanish is I'm watching a YouTube video. I think they have like different episodes or like series at least where they kind of in slowly introduce you to Spanish starting off with the alphabets and then advancing to conjugation and stuff like that. Uh, the channel is A AIB. It's just Spanish for beginners. I'm on episode two. I really like these videos because they are like around 20, 25 minutes long. So they're not too hard to sit through. I have my notepad. I'm gonna put some good notes on the alphabet. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, let's go. Now up here in the right hand corner, I'm gonna write S. S. Y. That's Soy. Oh, Soy oh, yo soy. Yo soy. So we can it is two it is six so it is s it is okay soy it is it is s somos somos sois sois son son now i encourage you this form is in the top left hand corner soy right soy so, how would I say I am in Spanish? It's Yo that soy easy. Yo es. es. So he is. El es. 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 She is. Somos. somos. So what we are in Spanish is. Nosotros, nosotros somos. somos. And again, you okay, let's see. Yo sois. Oh my gosh, I got that wrong. Yo soy. Yo soy. El. Ella. No, oh my gosh, I'm thinking the French way. Okay. Yo soy. Tu. Eres. El. Ella. Usted. Es. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
ellos, ellas, ellos, ellos. Say, they are, and then vosotros sois, sois, do you pronounce as? Sois is there. Sois, yes. Vosotros sois, from the end. Okay. Ustedes, ellas, ellos, son. Vosotros sois. Nosotros somos. Nosotros somos. Usted, él, él, ella, e, es, es, okay. And then tú, eres. Yo soy. Okay, okay. It's it's so oh, okay. Hard still coming. It's hard, but yeah. so let's go over the forms uh, of say up. Okay. Say up after me. Soy. Soy. Eres. Eres. Es. Es. Somos. Somos. Soy. 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 Son. Now let's put them all together and start making phrases from the same word. I am. Let's say it after me. Yo soy. Yo soy. You are. Tú eres. Tú eres. Pretty is bonito. Bonito. Hmm. Bonito. Isn't that? A Japanese flake? Like the fish flake? I think so. Bonito. Yeah. Anyways, bonito. No. Nice slash pretty. Serio. Serio. Yeah. I can definitely see Spanish having uh, similarities between English and French. And then, timido. Timido. And also some other things about their characteristics. Ella es morena. Morena. You got it. Ella es morena. Yes. How would you say, I am blood? Yo. I just said yo, but I wrote je. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay. Think in Spanish. Think in Spanish. Yo soy. What did he say? I am brunette. Yo soy. Mm, Rubino. 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 Bina. Rubina. Parce que je suis une fille. Serio. Serio. Elle est serio. Good. Elle est serio. serio. Now, I promise you, the more you make yourself speak Spanish, the easier it's going to get. Si. Um. Message of a word. I don't know if this is right, but yo soy contenta. Um, gracias. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I have to read it all. I can't remember this. Okay. Gracias. Uh, Der me gusta y suscribirse. <laughs> Thanks guys so much for watching me learn Spanish and struggle, but it's okay. And I'll see you guys later with more videos. Bye. I'll see you guys.